Good morning, seventh standard. And uh, this last class we were seeing uh, Le Professio. So so far we have finished Le Baron de Manuel French passage and passage based exercise. And we have seen profession. So let us do a small revision on the profession and then we will continue with the exercises. Okay. So let us continue. So kindly repeat along with me and then we will see the new topic. Les professions. Les professions. Profession is, is always known as les métiers. Les métiers. The first profession is a shopkeeper. La commerçant. La commerçant. L'avocat. L'avocat. Le journaliste, le journaliste, l'artiste, l'artiste, le peintre, le peintre, la pilote, le pilote, le dentiste, le dentiste, la secrétaire. La secrétaire, le musicien, le musicien, le mécanicien, le mécanicien, l'électricien, l'électricien, les serveurs, le serve. La chanteuse, la chanteuse, l'institutrice, l'institutrice, le facteur, le facteur, la danseuse, la danseuse, la coiffeuse, la coiffeuse, le vendeur. Le vendeur, l'infirmière, l'infirmière, le professeur, le professeur, le cuisinier, le cuisinier, le boucher, le boucher. Le boulanger, le boulanger, le poissonnier, le poissonnier. So this is profession. So in this page we have both the masculine and feminine. So already we have seen this. So I think this is enough. So let's get into the new topic. Today's topic is no pa. So this is the today's topic which we are going to see. The name of the topic is negation, and in, in English it is called as negative. Negative. Okay, let us know what is negation. Okay, so to form a negative sentence in French, one must use two words, ne and pa. Ne is placed before the verb and pa after the verb. So, for example, this is the example. Je ne parle pas anglais. Okay. I do not speak English. Example number two. Il n'est pas médecin. Ne becomes an apostrophe before the vowels. So, A, E, I, O, U. Y and H and silent H. So these are the vowels in French.
okay normally we will have five vowels in english in french it is y is another vowel okay so the negative constriction is n plus verb plus pa or in case if it is a vowel in the verb it should be n apostrophe plus verb plus pa so the first letter is a vowel or h silent okay silent h example nous ne sommes pas stupides nous ne sommes pas stupides je ne suis pas chinois elle n'aime pas le ch chocolat Manuel et Denis ne regardent pas la télé. Monsieur Dupont ne travaille pas à l'ambassade. Il n'est pas journaliste. So, this is what we must know. So, imagine the same sentence without ne pas. Nous sommes stupides. Ok? So, since this is the verb, what we are doing is we are placing the n before the verb and pa after the verb so it becomes nu ne sont pas stupides and here's another example which n apostrophe since the verb starts with a vowel so this becomes elle n'aime pas le chocolat so this is n apostrophe why because a is a vowel so this is the only difference so al nam pa le chocola okay so hope you understood this so the main concept which you have to remember or the syntax which you have to remember is n plus verb plus pa and vowel n apostrophe plus verb plus pa okay what we do is imagine this boy is the verb okay on the left and he has what no and the right hand he has pa so in that way you can constrict okay so the negative constriction is like this okay so I'll read it once again the whole passage please listen and then we will go for the sentence okay negation negative to form a negative sentence in French one must use two words N and pa. N is placed before the verb and pa after the verb. Example Je ne parle pas anglais. I do not speak English. Il n'est pas petit. N becomes N apostrophe before the vowels. What are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U, Y and silent edge so the constriction negative constriction is n plus verb plus pa n apostrophe plus verb plus pa and the first letter is a vowel or silent edge nous ne sommes pas stupides je ne suis pas chinois so n pa so whatever given in red color is is na pa and uh, which is given in the center is the verb okay so je ne suis pas chinois elle n'aime pas le chocolat manuel et denis ne regardent pas la télé monsieur dupont ne travaille pas à l'ambassade il n'est pas journaliste so I think this is enough. So let's go to the sentence making. Okay. So in today's class, we are just going to deal with two things. That is exercise number three.
3 and x is number 4. When you are writing the classwork, read, uh, write x is number 1 and uh, no need to write x is number 2. Straight away you can start writing x is number 3 and x is number 4. So based on x is number 3 and 4, we will have an online test today. So what we are going to do is, I am going to tell one by one and you can just take it in pencil and then you can start writing ok il parle français so the first thing is il is taken as it is so parle is the verb here so before parle what we have to do we have to put ne and parle since it is a verb after parle we have to use pa that is what the syntax we were seeing right the same example is given here see il ne parle pas français il ne parle pas français ok now let us do the first one il est gentil so what they asked mettez les phrases à la forme négative so what you do in a pencil you write ne plus verb plus pa okay at the top here and you can write n apostrophe plus verb plus pa if there is a vowel okay now first see the verb if the verb has a vowel use n apostrophe syntax if the verb doesn't has a vowel use ne pa syntax okay so in this the verb has a n apostrophe sorry the verb is starting with a vowel so what syntax we have to use we have to use n apostrophe right so il you have to write here can you see the cursor yeah here you have to write n apostrophe and here you have to write pa after the verb so before the verb n apostrophe and after the verb pa so that will be the answer for the first one. So the answer is il n'est pas gentil. So when you read, you have to read like this. Il n'est pas gentil. Okay. So hope you understood this one. Let us go to the second one. Denis regarde la télévision. Denis regarde la télévision. So very short. So no vowel here in the verb so what syntax we have to use n apostrophe pa or ne pa ok those who said no ne pa clap for yourself you are right so denis ne ok so after denis we have to put ne denis ne regard pa la television denis ne regard pa la television Okay, so hope you guys would have have will be having a pencil. So here ne and here pa. Okay, just in a pencil you can mark and then you can take it in a classwork. Okay, the same thing. No zoom intelligent. See like this we saw in the example also no zoom. No ne sont pas, right? See, the verb. No ne sont pas. The same way, see, instead of stupid, they have given intelligent in the sentence. So, the same example which is given here will be the answer. No ne sont pas. Take this stupid and write in intelligent. So we are done with number three. Fourth one is jam le chocolat. See now we have to see the verb. Okay, the verb starts with a vowel, right? So what what we have to do? So we have to change the subject. There is j apostrophe will become j e. Why? Because a new word is going to 
enter inside that is n okay but we cannot write n e here why because it is a vowel the verb is starting with a vowel so j e n apostrophe je n'aime je n'aime and after the verb we have to write what that is where i am placing the cursor here you have to write pa je n'aime pas les chocolat je n'aime pas les chocolat this whole exercise will come under two category one is n apostrophe pa and the second category is n pa now you tell me what category is number 5 n apostrophe pa or n pa first if you decide that your work is half done and remaining work is to write the answer that's it so l c h silent let's go and see okay so what they have given a e i o u y n silent h in that case what should be the answer when first letter is a vowel or silent h n apostrophe plus v plus pa so now you know the answer so you have to put a n apostrophe after l that is before verb n apostrophe and after abit pa so the answer will be l nabit pa a londr l nabit pa a londr okay so let's go to the sixth one vous avez 33 ans so see the scenario n apostrophe pa or n pa so it is n apostrophe pa since the vowel the verb is starting with a vowel so here vous n'avez pas 33 ans vous n'avez pas 33 ans elles vont aux états-unis this one is very simple why because there is no vowel okay so n plus v plus pa that is the syntax so n here and pa here after vo you can write pa elles ne vont pas aux états-unis elles ne vont pas aux états-unis dominique est professeur de français dominique est professeur de français See, Dominique is a subject. A is a verb. Professor de Français is a object. So, verb is here. Check if the verb is starting with a vowel. Yes. So, n apostrophe here and pa here. Dominique n'est pas professeur de français. Dominique n'est pas professeur de français. So, let's go to the ninth one. Le père de Caroline travaille dans une banque. Le père de Caroline travaille dans une banque. Okay, now the answer is le père de Caroline is subject. So few people what they do is they don't know what is the subject. Instead what they will do le père they will do and they will put ne pas here. That is a blunder mistake. First we have to find out the verb. See out of the whole sentence See, travaille is the verb. How to find out the verb? Either it will be in a er group verb, or ir group verb, or re group verb. So so far you are familiar with er and ir, right? So this is a er verb. So directly we can identify the verb first, and we can put n and pa here. That is one way of finding the verb. The another way is. first identifying the subject and the object and whatever left over is a verb okay so here the case is le père de caroline is a lengthy subject okay and ne should come here ne since the vowel i mean the verb is not starting with a vowel the père de caroline ne travaille pas so pa i am putting here after the verb ne travaille pas dans une banque il voyage beaucoup il voyage beaucoup il ne voyage pas beaucoup 
il ne voyage pas beaucoup. Now we are going to see exercise number 4. There is no big difference between exercise number 3 and 4. Exercise number 3 is a positive sentence we are going to change as negative. But exercise number 4 is saison de tre that is that is a question for this question you must be able to answer positive as well as negative okay so this is very simple don't worry i'll help you for uh, just five first five and then you'll do the next three okay répondez aux questions par une phrase affirmative et une phrase négative so first is an affirmative sentence and uh, second sentence should be a negative sentence affirmative is nothing but a positive sentence so let's start I'll tell you how to do this. Ce sont des trains. Oui, ce sont des trains. So affirmative sentence, just we have to agree. That is saying yes, there are some trains. When we use this same sentence to negative, first we should not agree, we should deny. So instead of saying we, oui, we are going to say no. And whatever we learnt here in this, that is take this sentence and you have to introduce ne and pa here in case if it is a vowel n apostrophe and pa that's it so i'll do one ce sont des trains first accepting we ce sont des trains just putting away and just repeating the same sentence and putting a full stop means that we have done an affirmative sentence okay i repeat we ce sont des trains. So only word which I include is we. Second one is no. Ce ne sont pas des trains. Ce ne sont pas des trains. No. First denying. Ce ne sont pas. Ce ne sont pas. Ne pas. This refers to negative sentence. And in case if it is a vowel here, I should have used an apostrophe. Now let's see a new sentence. Le gâteau est bon. So how to do affirmative sentence? Just take this as an example. Put oui, comma, and write the same sentence. Le gâteau est bon. And put a full stop. So you have done with first affirmative sentence. Very easy, no? Yes. Now what you are going to do? The same. You are going to do a negative sentence. Now you have to deny. No. Le gâteau. Vowel is, I mean, verb is the vowel. There is a vowel in the verb. So, n apostrophe. Le gâteau ne pa. So, after n apostrophe est, pas. Le gâteau ne pa bon. So, that is the answer. Yes. So, I repeat the answer. Le, oui, le gâteau est bon. No, le gâteau n'est pas bon. The same way as we did here. Okay, when you get chu, what do you have to do? When you get chu as a question, the answer should be je. Why? Because if someone asks you, are you an Indian? You will not say, you are an Indian. You will say, yes, I am an Indian. No, I am not an Indian. The same way, someone is asking this person, Chia Almo, okay, are you from Germany or are you a German? So, this guy is going to reply, oui. So, how you will reply? Oui, je suis Almo, je suis, so adverb, you know, right? So, extended, we have already learned, oui. So, oui is here. The answer is, je suis Almo. Je suis Almo, that is affirmative. I will spell out uh, je, J E. So, je suis, S U I S, je suis Almo. Oui, je suis Almo, full stop. The same sentence we are going to make negative. Now we are going to deny. No. Je, instead of this, you have to write je. Ne suis pas allemand. So we have to write 
Oui, je suis allemand. Non, je ne suis pas allemand. So, that is one example. This third one is Mark K. Mechanician. So, first affirmative is We, Mark K. Mechanician. We have to put a We and you have to repeat Mark A. Mechanician. And we have to put No, Mark Nepa. N apostrophe EST Pa. Mark Nepa Mechanician. So, that is number three. Fourth one, as we did second one, we have to do fourth one. Why we are not changing for one and three is because, because third person singular we should not change. Le gato and mark comes under il or l. So that's the reason we are not changing anything. But here they are asking vous. And the answer should be je. Okay. Vous êtes française. First, oui, je suis française. As we did here. Oui, je suis française. And uh, no, je ne suis pas français. So you have to write je, no, first deny it. Je ne suis, S -U -I -S, suis pas français. I'm just indicating this sentence because this is just an example for what I'm saying. No, je ne suis pas français. Sorry, here it is ES, right? So that means they are asking a lot of people. So instead, je, if they will answer should be, oui, nous sommes français. No, nous ne sommes pas français. Why? Because here it is ES. In case if it is without ES, that means they are denoting only one person. If it is with ES, that means there are a lot of people sitting there. Vous êtes français means that 10 people are sitting there. So the answer should be yes we are French, yes we are, no we are not French. So the answer will be we oui, nous sommes Français. We oui, nous sommes Français. And the negative answer will be no. No should instead of the C you have to put no. Ne som S O M M E S. No ne som pa. And you have to repeat this process. Okay. So fifth one, Jacques Travail à l'ambassade. Very simple. First you have to put affirmative sentence. That is we. O U I we comma Jacques Travail à l'ambassade. Full stop. Jacques Travail à l'ambassade. Full stop. We Jacques Travail à l'ambassade. And negative sentence is no Jacques ne travail pas à l'ambassade. Jacques ne travaille pas à l'ambassade. So that is this one. And uh, this you do. Okay. Six, seven, eight. I want you to do. Why? Because it is just like exercise number. I mean uh, this point number two. Tu es allemand, non? Tu finis la leçon? Oui, je finis la leçon. Non, je ne finis pas la leçon. So seven and eight, you try. And uh, exercise number five, I want you to take this as a homework. This is nothing but you have to construct the, or everything is given. You have to construct a straight sentence. That is subject first, verb second, uh, and object third. First one I'll do for you. A, le, the, pilote, Roland, frère. So they are denoting a profession the first thing whatever we try is first whenever they uh, denote a profession we can go in reverse pilot is the object okay and a is the verb a pilot so this is number two and this is number three when i say number two this is the verb and this is the object so uh, whatever is left out le the Roland frère so this totally should become the subject so le frère so definite article is here le frère de Roland le frère de Roland et pilote ok le frère because frère will never have a definite article right so we have to use this le frère 
द रोलो द रोलो ए पिलोतो सो सेकेंड ऑल्सो आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल दिस वन इज वेरी ईजी फॉर यू जस्ट नो यू लर्न नेगाटिव दिस इज नेगेटिव सेंटेंस सो एल इज द सब्जेक्ट न शुड कम आफ्टर द वर्ब राइट सॉरी बिफोर द वर्ब एल न पार्ल एफ पार्ल इज द वर्ब सो पा ऑंगले लाइक दिस यू कैन डू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स दिस इज अ होमवर्क फॉर यू just divide the sentence first and try to identify the verb and the object and whatever is left out is the subject so try this on your own and uh, finish the exercise number 5 so in today we have uh, today's uh, class we have finished exercise number 3 4 and 5 is a homework for you so in today's class we saw negative negative so don't forget the syntax n plus where plus pa and in case it is a verb will n apostrophe plus verb plus pa so in the upcoming class we will see verbs ending with ger okay so i i thank you all for today and uh, whatever i finish please take uh, start writing this page in your uh, grammar page okay at the back side of your class work and start writing these exercises vocabulary exercise number 1 3 4 and 5 in your class work okay so with this uh, lesson we are completing the waterly portion that i already said so exercise number 6 and 7 we will see in the upcoming class okay so i thank you all have a nice day and god bless you all